All right, I'm going to start in Elden Ring New Game Plus. It's something I've been putting off for a little while. I was a little uh, wondering about how I was going to do a Until I Die episode with um, the Elden Ring here. Let's skip over all of this because I want to not have this episode be crazy, crazy long. So, I don't really know how tough this game actually is for New Game Plus. I know the, from what I hear, all of the enemies are more powerful. But it may not scale perfectly with how strong your character is. Plus, I've got a much better idea how to play this game now than I did before. I will say, though, that the, um... Hold on, home map's unveiled. I'm not going to count a death to the Grafted Scion. That's not going to count, because it's, it's almost scripted that you lose to the Grafted Scion. So I'm willing to, you know, pretend that this doesn't happen. Hey, look at that shit. Actually, you know what? I'm probably going to win this fight. Yeah, I'm going to win this fight. Unless something weird happens. Alright, so I don't have to break my own rules. <laughs> Ornamental straight shield. Awesome. You know, I don't know what happens when you beat this thing. Because before you would, um... You would appear... Do I have to just sort of leap to my death? Oh, alright. <laughs> okay, that's that. that's not going to count. I think this was basically a mandatory thing. You had to die in some way. Skip, 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 skip. All right, I'm going to avoid the tutorial area. Just going to move on. What is remain? What remains, anyway? All, right, all of these items. Okay, my... Um, oh, all of my summons are here. The items I picked up, my smithing stones, that, mixed physics stuff, my spells, didn't really use them, my ashes of war, all of my weapons, wow. All my armor, okay, so really, I am loaded. <laughs> How about my runes? Oh, actually, it told, I held on to my runes, too. Amazing. And I have my, uh... Okay. Plus, I seem to be a little bit scaled up. I, at least it feels like I'm scaled up in terms of strength beyond what the game expects me to be at this point. I had a real hard time, like everybody does, when starting this game. So, um, it kind of feels different now to run through the game with it easier. Now, it's not just because I am, uh, it's not simply because I am, hey, I have Torrent, awesome, because I'm stronger. I'm sure it's just because I actually know how to play the game now, and it's not like, um, not like before where I was simply uh, learning how to play the game and just sort of fumbling my way through the early parts. All right, so I need to rest at um, the shopkeeper here. You know, honestly, I don't know if I realize there's a shopkeeper here dressed like Santa Claus. You're a tarnish, and I can also let you know something. Then why not purchase? I am Carly. Hello. What's your name? You know, I never bought the telescope. <laughs> 
So you need to rest at a number of sites of grace before... Well, what the hell's her name? Appears. Oops. That was a waste of magic or potions. Whatever, it'll be fine. This game really captured my attention. I was actually sort of getting a little disillusioned with any playing any kinds of video games over the past year or so. I tried to keep it together for the sake of the channel and all that, but the reality was I was sort of... Like, I bought a PlayStation 5 and barely used it. Played a little bit of Demon Souls some Ratchet and Clank and all that, but it just wasn't something that was holding my attention. Then this came out, and then, like, honestly, the first few hours with it, I don't feel... it. first, like, two hours or so, I'm like, you yeah, know, it's... it's it feels like a solid game and clay experience, but you know, it wasn't um, wasn't like the groundbreaking thing I was expecting to see out of all of the reviews I was reading that was really like gushing over how great this game was. So it, but it took a little bit to grow on me, and all of a sudden I feel like, oh, you know what, this game is starting to click, and it took like maybe two hours for that to happen. And suddenly, the game felt like it was something. Felt like I was getting somewhere. Felt like I was accomplishing the things that the game... What, what the game was. Alright, here I am. Why not just... Summon my Mimic tier And run through these sons of bitches. Because this was something that... When I uh, started the game, I spent a lot of time stuck on this because I was trying so very hard to get through this and kill all of these soldiers and all of that. And I was. <laughs> it took me hours to even. Because this son of a bitch right here. But now. I wonder if I didn't have the benefit of being geared up thanks to the new game plus and the mimic tier and all that kind of stuff. How well I'd be doing here. Definitely not this good. Because <laughs> I'm definitely doing too much damage on these guys. Look at this. Just slaughtering them. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. They were like nothing. Sorry, Pooch. I wonder, is there a treasure still down here? There was before, and it was something fairly good. Will there be something here? Oh, Storm Stomp. Something I probably already have. Alright, there's a Sight of Grace out here that I need to rest at. Here she comes. All decked out in super heavy armor. The heaviest armor I got. Alright, skipping over this. Have you heard of they serve you yeah, yeah, you're a finger maiden. You know, if you just mentioned finger maiden, I would have expected something completely different. Alright, well, don't have nearly enough... Uh, don't have nearly enough runes to level up here. Ah, eh, let's just wait until daytime. I think a big part of also what makes me uh, more powerful isn't just my character's level being higher, but it's be having the gear. Because you can start with a shield, but the shield I started with when I started playing the game wasn't one that defended 100% of physical damage. 
So you could block attacks, but you would still take chip damage as you withstood a number of hits. This, however, I got this great shield, which my character is strong enough to carry and all of that. Blocks 100% of physical damage. And that's a, actually pretty huge for me. <laughs> Alright, so I guess it's possible. I'm probably going to make it as far as Margit, the Fell Omen. And that will be where I die. But I'm stronger now than I was expecting myself to be. So, um... I suppose maybe I will... Possibly defeat him. What the hell is that, anyway? <laughs> oh, it's the shack. Everyone's oh, it's this girl. Damn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me kill this thing. I'm sorry, I attacked you. I didn't try to attack you. You know, some, it, it's sort of an interesting uh, way that they went about with the NPCs in this game. Because the majority of the sort of um, open world RPGs create a world where you are essentially the main character of everyone, of the entire world, you know. It's your story. Whereas in Elden Ring, they have all these NPCs and you come across... Not like you're the main character, but like you are a character in their story. You're just there for them. At least during the time where you are um, playing through their parts. And the fact is, even if you... Unlike, I, I don't think she was an example of that. But I think for a lot of these NPCs, that if you're not there to actually take part in their story... It will, the story will continue without you. Oh, come on now. Oh, uh, what? Come on. Getting reckless here. Damn emotes. <laughs> Get that shield up. I'm not taking barely any damage compared to these guys. I'm just killing to gather runes because I want to get like one level up before I try fighting Margit. Because I'm, I'm basically at his boss battle. But that girl there, she was actually something of an interesting side character because she she's actually there for the sake of being um, being grafted by by Godfrey or God Godwin or Godric that's his name Godric the grafted that would mean that she would have her limbs cut off and they'd be attached to his body to make him stronger and for some reason she was actually willingly there for that purpose if that makes any damn sense. But she was afraid and she didn't go and all of her traveling companions went ahead and did it, you know, without her and she was left behind. And she doesn't go forward, but she'll end up at the round table hold because, I don't know, it's what she does. And she finds herself as, she's really timid and she 
becomes an apprentice of a blacksmith there. And she finds a new purpose doing like upgrades to your spirits. But towards the end of the game, when it's pretty much revealed that the the gods that control this world don't really care about anybody, and the gods are really what cursed the tarnish and all that anyhow. She even says, like, you need to go and kill the goddess that was responsible for this, for cursing us the way we're cursed. And that's a um, pretty big... Oh, all right, yep, here's the fight with Marget. Margit. I pronounced the name wrong. All right. Uh, with the spirit ashes, this battle's going to be a cinch. The first time I killed this guy, I didn't have the spirit ashes. Because I didn't un even understand that concept of the game. <laughs> Jump. enough to level up. Alright, this is actually going to go on longer than I was expecting. Hello. Forgive me. To see yeah, ba 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 Whereas I may there is, but I can take gathering place. Very well, let my hand. Alright, she'll take us to round table hold, which is where, um... You can do your level ups with some stuff, you know, like your weapons and your spirit ashes. I remember being able to do that before the fight with Marget, though, so I must have done something wrong here. Marget, I don't freaking know, I keep pronouncing his name wrong. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get my level up. Um, actually, you know what? Do you mind? So I'm going to rush through a lot of stuff here. Because I don't want to... I want to rush to the fight with Godfr Godric. Because Godric is a probably actually more difficult of a fight than Margit. Margit. <laughs> so I am I'm looking to die, but I'm not trying to die. If that makes any sense. There's the bird. Chump. Looking to die, but not trying to die. That's That should be the uh, motto for this series. <laughs> not much of a series, really. I have a bunch of videos in it, but it's not updated very often. Uh, shield I'm not going to use. You guys suck. 
surrounded me like that. I remember I had a lot of difficulty with this part of the game. These dudes with the explosive things kept messing me up. Damn it. Alright, run through. And this beginning part... I threw myself against this beginning so many times. Running through this area, because I kept dying, I kept getting lost. Of course, when you actually know where to go, the whole game will probably take like a quarter of the amount of time it took me initially. There was a boss, no, well, not a boss, but a tough enemy here. Oh, he's laughing at me. Chump. Oh, he did some damage. Amazing. And he's dead. Oh, there's a key or something in here. No, that's not it. There we go. And time for some climbing. Jeez, this character looks so ridiculous carrying all this extra gear. <laughs> Punk. I'm actually gaining more runes than I did before. It must ramp up your rune acquisition. I guess as a balance for making the enemies tougher. Because they definitely are tougher. They're not scaled properly to my level. But they are tougher. Let me just uh, replenish my everything. Actually, you know what? No, I have. Um, I picked up some. There we go. No, okay. Twelve charges now. Awesome. There's a lot of extra stuff you can do in these. Some. Just looking to get into it. So I'm going to avoid trekking around and doing all the unnecessary stuff. Or at least try to. As, as much as I can remember how to play through this dungeon. Uh, don't end the episode here. Don't just fall to your death like a moron. There we go. I hate that bird. That thing just caused me so much trouble, like, all the damn time. Help me out here, Spirit Ashes, because there's a lot of enemies here. You fucker. Way to pay attention. It's another area that I got hung up on. Trying to fight my way through. For a lot of reasons, though, this is proving way easier. Uh, 
All right. Just some large omen. That guy was always a problem, too. Uh, which way? This way, I think. You know, I never found out how to open that door. This one over here? I never figured out how to get to the other side, because it's one of those... You open it from the other side things, and I never got to the other side. I don't even know what's over there. It's weird. I mean, I always imagined that there was something, like, really awesome there, and I was too stupid to figure out how to get to it. Um, I'm close to him, aren't I? Oh, it's the jars. Yeah, I'm close to Godric. Yeah, I'm close to him, I think. Hi. What's up?
There we go. <laughs> of all the stupid things to die on. 